Well, I'm imagining we've just danced the night away, and we're starving. It's New Year's Eve, and we want to eat. Uh, our fabulous uh, cooking consultant, Marianne Amadeo, is here. It's always so much fun to have you here. Oh, and you've here. brought our very special friend, Luke Moffat, head butcher Hello. from The Healthy Butcher. <laughs> Because sure uh, we don't is. want any unhealthy butchers here. We want the healthy ones. They're gone. No, we don't use them anymore at all. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. We're celebrating. We want to eat. Uh, yeah. But as a host, I don't want to be futzing around too much. You right? know, I've, uh, I have to tell you, we're going to make it easy for you tonight. And I don't know why you're going out on New Year's Eve and spending two to three times the amount on a restaurant, as usual, that would be their price. No, have people at home or go to somebody's home and they're really doing potlucks or an entertaining buffet. Oh. People can relax, they can mix and mingle. Once you sit at a table, you're stuck at that spot all night. I like home entertaining, what do you think? Home entertaining is great. It's a way to cut down on costs. Christmas is so expensive to begin with. That's a great point. Not only that, Christmas is all about family time. Let's mm -hmm. get together with family and be with our families for Christmas. Be able to that's get up right. and move yeah. around and chitty yeah. chat. That's right. And so for New Year's, if you want to do this, we're going to show you something simple. And this is the newest in what you would call a slow cooker, um, a cooker that we, you can take with you. And Luke has it here. It's from Hamilton Beach. And if you want to take the lid off and see, there's something very unique about this cooker. And we're going to be using it in just a second. Those little buckles, it locks the lid. These little things right here? Yeah. So once you've made your meal, which we're going to do now, and you say, okay, and now I'm going to bring it over to, um, I'm going to bring it over to our friends, and we're going to have the party there. How am I going to get the lid to stay on in the car? Have you ever had half a pot of goulash on the back seat? Yes. I bet you did. <laughs> that I was, is the worst. I think I was there that night. And you know what? <laughs> you can still smell this. It. The buckle, I'll tell you who was thinking about this at Hamilton Beach. You've got to look for this one. Okay, so yeah. let's, yeah. It, but it's not like a pressure cooker. That's not, it, that's no. not the locking thing. It's just for traveling. The, the lock is for so traveling. Great. And if you're going, and now a lot of churches Easy. are doing a New Year's Eve dinner and dance at church. And also, so what, it, what are you going to have at church? A buffet. So this is going to go to that. Then you can replenish it, refill it, and when you're finished, if there's any leftovers, you're going to buckle it right back up and take it home with you. So no mess. And I like one pot cooking, don't you? Mm -hmm. One pot cooking is the best. Oh. Cuts down on dishes. <laughs> are we? Oh, yeah. You're not a dishwasher, are <laughs> <No>. you? <laughs> we're, uh, you can tell. You, uh, you're, we're going to be using this today in our recipe, are we? Yes, okay. we are. We are. So I want to know how we're starting with this now. So I brought some of my uh, Italian meatballs with me. Uh, okay. Our founder's name is Mario Ferrucci. I mean, come on, let's face it, it doesn't get any more Italian than that. <laughs> so stay at home, skip the restaurant, come see me. We got these fabulous hormone antibiotic-free meatballs. Just start out with a little bit of olive oil in a hot pan. That's important to you guys at the Healthy Butchers, getting the best quality meat, right? That's right. We don't want to ever sacrifice on quality for okay. any reason. So just toss So he didn't put in much of the olive oil and he used a good one. All right. Just toss your meatballs in. All we're going to do is try and brown them up a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's some good looking balls. You got there, Luke. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, so I know we're I've browning them to keep the flavor in. Yes, and add a whole bunch sort of, of flavor. Sort of seal so it. You always want to caramelize those fats and those sugars. Anytime you can do that. Okay, I want to see that now. Yeah. What's in them? I see a little bit of parsley. What yeah, else? Yeah. Yep. So we got uh, Parmesan cheese, parsley, salt, pepper. Italian herbs, basil, oregano, a whole lot of flavor in these. Mm. Wow. Save the time, it? let me do the work for What's you. What's the size of the meatballs for serving for a buffet? What are you saying here? Uh, this year it's about a two tablespoon portion or so. Okay. So I'm just browning them. Now you haven't rolled them in breadcrumbs. I sometimes nope. do that. But it's just the meatball itself. You're browning it. Take a look here. And you're si now we're not filling it with oil as if you're going to be um, cooking them. It, yeah. No, no, I'm just sort of a quick saute. I All love right. the smell of the caramelized mm -hmm. beef no. and Yeah, all this is perfect. Herbs. This is okay. all we're trying to do is just brown the outsides That's a little bit. That's what I want you to see. Now have a look here. So we're not going to be cooking them fully in the pan. That's going to happen in the... No, that's going to happen mm -hmm. in our Hamilton Beach slow cooker here. Gotcha. Now see, we're just going to get a little bit of that. It's interesting that 
when you are using a slow cooker, you do want to still, don't skip that browning step. That's still important. Never, ever, ever skip the browning. You're missing out on a whole lot of flavor if you do. This is going to take your cooking from here to here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're done. All right. Okay, I think we're done. And remember, did you see, I'd say it was about two tablespoons of olive oil at the most. Approximately, About yep. that, okay. So here we go. Get those juices in there too, right? Oh yeah. Whatever came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, can you see this one in particular? You can see they're all nicely browned like that, but I wanted you to notice. So we're going to turn this burner off now. Actually, we're missing one important step yet. Oh. Uh, we always have to deglaze our, oh. deglaze our pan, right? There's a lot of flavor in this pan just from all the little burn bits that are on there. The vino! So add some wine. If you like your wine, feel free to add more. <laughs> Looks like about a quarter of a cup fell. Scrape all those little burn bits off the bottom. Okay. Again, Once you flavor, get all that in. Look how fast that came up. Building okay. the flavor. Go are, we, are we reducing it at all? Uh, you can if you want to reduce it. Sure, go for it. You'll concentrate all those flavors. I just want to make sure I get all those browning flavors out of this pan. So again, he's layering the flavor. The fl you could have just thrown them in raw, put a splash of wine on top, covered it up. But we've, we've done the one step with the browning. Now we've done another step with the red wine. See, and these are simple. This is two or three minutes at the most. Yeah, We're going to be going to uh, break soon, and then we'll do the big reveal after, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else we need to know before we go to break? Uh, I do have my barbecue sauce here with me. This is yours, our cleaver. All of our sauces are uh, organic and gluten-free. Uh, this here is a great secret for you as well. Okay. You'd save you some time. Uh, you, you, of course, can use your favorite sauce, but uh, come on and see me. Yeah. Dump that in over top of all your meatballs. Your okay, so one bottle. One bottle, depending on how many meatballs you're making. If you've all got right. a large family, you might need more than one bottle. Can double that recipe. Sure. Okay. And then we'll uh, let that sit for a bit. Okay, so when we come back, we're going to be looking at our fabulous New Year's meatballs from the Healthy Butcher. More than looking. <laughs> <laughs> and Marianne Amadeo uh, will, uh, will tell us more about some of these great Hamilton Beach products. We'll see you right back here. Super. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, you've got your friends and family over, you're celebrating. You're the host, you want to enjoy the party too, or maybe you're going to somebody else's place. So Luke Moffat from the Healthy Butchers brought his uh, meatballs here, and Marianne Amadeo, our cooking consultant, uh, they've put together this wonderful, delicious recipe mm. that will go anywhere you're, where you're going, That's or it. Uh, be good right here at home. Perfect take along and perfect for uh, at home entertaining, mm -hmm. which is I, I really suggest doing on New Year's Eve for many reasons. Oh you don't want to be out on the roads. You really don't want to go out. And, and I just find the price is atrocious between you and me. So much more I don't fun. know what, I don't know what, you, you're from Kitchener and uh, don't think it's any less expensive there. And that's great. I hope all the restaurants do a great business there and here, but it's a lot of money, isn't it? Absolutely. Save the money, buy the kids bigger toys. <laughs> ah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pretend we've taken this beautiful Hamilton Beach slow cooker to somebody else's party because we can. We've got these locking mechanisms this here. This is absolutely brilliant. Now you can see, look at that, what he's doing. That's unique. It's just brilliant. And you can take it with you anywhere safely in the car, put it in the trunk, put it in a box, and you really don't have to hope and, and pray and say, please let this meatball. And then if you have to stop suddenly, well, there's half the goulash gone. But you can't, you won't have that with this. So it's a buckle. And if you stay with me here, we'll unlock that. Luke, you'll unlock the other side. So church suppers are also, uh, church dinner dance are also very popular on New Year's Eve. So that's another nice thing. And if it's going to be a potluck, you can put yourself down for that hot dish safely and easily. Luke, these, uh, these meatballs are all put together. You did them. Yes, uh, we did. All natural ingredients with your beautiful hormone-free beef. But uh, is it all right with you if we pretend we made them at home? Because they of taste course. homemade. Of course. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> pretend you made them at home. It'll be our little secret. No problem. Yes. <laughs> I, I just whipped great. these up for this party. That's my job. Make it seem That's like right, you've Julia. cooked all day. And <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, yeah. Baby. How long have these been in the slow cooker? Uh, you can leave them stew for a few hours. 
Uh, they'll probably be cooked within an hour or so, but I find stuff like this gets better the longer you leave it sit. Okay, so the redo, yeah. And also uh, Christmas open houses were a popular item and New Year's. Hold on, hold nope. on. Okay. Yeah, Val gets the fork. Ugh. Perfect. Well, well, let's get combination some more of that of nice the, sauce on. The Italian flavoring of the meatballs with the barbecue flavor of the barbecue sauce. And the red wine. And then, and of course, the, the, and the red wine. All these wonderful flavors coming together. Let's see how mm. it tastes. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what else have you brought with you over there, Marianne? Do you want to talk while I'm eating? Mm, yeah, I brought the brand new Hamilton Beach Blender. It's an ice crusher. It has a wonderful uh, safety lid protection because you're going to be making some heavy-duty things here. And more and more people are. And so it, it passes, surpasses smoothies. Uh, certainly does crush ice, but you can do all kinds of grains, soup mixtures. You can mix things up, and people are adding a lot of uh, hemp or uh, different grains and seeds to their uh, juices, yeah. to their blender drinks. But I don't want to be chewing on that stuff, so this will grind it I'll up. I'll just pulverize it, absolutely. Beautiful. And it's a nice addition to your kitchen counter, and it's one you're going to use all the time. I love that it's got a clean button. So oh, absolutely. Clean. Yeah, so... and. All the Hamilton Beach products that we're showing today, and also in, uh, at the store, at the Bay, Home Outfitters, they all have a five-year guarantee. Nice. Yeah, they're really, really a great product line. So these are two, and this is what I would set up for um, a New Year's buffet, because you can make any kind of a fruit punch, then you can add the alcohol of your choice in there if you want to. Have the cups already on a tray, and so you can do a tropical, you can use that eggnog and do something creamy, put some maybe some Baileys, different things in it, and then you can ha rinse it out. You don't have to because it's got a clean, uh, a clean mode on it. So you're all set. So I would actually have this out and running mm. for your New Year's party. What do you think? Good call. Get and you said we can get these uh, both of these products at so many different places. Oh, yeah. Where do we get your fabulous Meet the Balls? Uh, we got two locations in Toronto, one on Queen, one on uh, Eglinton, and then Kitchener-Waterloo, we have one on Bruce Street. So three locations help serve you better. Uh, I know online. they do online. You can get it online if you're in the right postcode in Toronto. Uh, or even better yet, call me. I'm sure we can work something out no matter where <laughs> And we are. used your barbecue sauce that you sell in the store as well. Yes. Gluten -free. Organic and gluten-free. Love it. You All do. Right. You do. That's for sure. We want to thank everybody for uh, being on the show today. What a great way to wrap up 2017. Mm. Big things ahead for us in 2018, right? It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great meat year. <laughs> and <laughs> and we're going to have buckets of fun. And mm. we've got so many great shows lined up already. But you know what? We've still got room for you. If you've mm. got a product or an event or uh, uh, mm. something that you would like to get the word out about, please come on our show. You can get all the details by going to ontvonline.ca. That's where these guys started, and we hooked them up. So we'd love to see you on, on TV in 2018. And please join us uh, next week. We'll be here with more great people, more great food, more great fun. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, it's going in. It's going in! <laughs>